Below me is a list of Ineos's reported transfer targets according to rumours. And let's be honest, half of the players on this list probably aren't Ineos transfer targets, but they're just players that are linked a rumour to United. So what we're going to do is we're going to rank all of these players. We're going to, at the end, we're going to pick six who are the must sign, which is going to be a left back, it's going to be a right winger, it's going to be a striker, it's going to be a DM and it's going to be two centre backs. We're going to pick six signings at the end of the video who are going to be the must sign six. And those six signings will come from the great signings category. We have players in the decent signing category. We have players in good prospects as cheap option, could do better and never happening. So hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football. And let's break down Ineos's targets. Starting Volley Watkins, never happening. It's not happening. We're not signing Ollie Watkins. He's going to cost a lot and he's going to get no service and he's not going to want to come because Villa in the Champions League. Kieran Drewsby Hall, you can't see his face, but he's going straight in the could do better category. Turum of Nice could do better. I don't rate Turum of Nice that much. Last season, yes. This season, no. Personally, not. Uh, Kirkes of Bournemouth, decent signing. Depends on the price, but I think he's 20-year-old left back. Bournemouth had a very good season. Really good prospect. <sighs> Frimpong's a, a difficult one because I don't think we need him. Like, I think he's brilliant, but he's more of a right winger now than a right back. I don't think he's the profile of what we need. But I can't put him a could do better because he's such a good player. So we'll put him in decent signing because I'm not going to complain. I think Look at Me would be a great signing. I'm taking into account the price. If Look at Me was 50 million, he's not going in great signing. But when he's quoted at 25 million, he's going in great signing for United. Kilman. Part of me also put Kilman a decent signing, depending on the price. Premier League proven. He's a good Lindelof replacement. He's a good fourth choice signing. For me, he's a good cheap option, but he's not a good signing. Like, re realistic, you could probably put Kilman and could do better. I'm going to put him in cheap option. If he's available for cheap, um, and let's say we get one expensive centre back, like a Bramthwaite, to replace Varane, and we get one cheap centre back, like a Kilman, to replace Lindelof. Not that I think Bramthwaite and Kilman, we need a better ball playing centre back. But do you know, you know what I'm saying? No, actually, let's be honest, it's Man United. Let's put him in could do better. Let's put him in could do better. Ancelino, good prospect, good cheap option. Um, Jao Gomez, massive fan of him. He's more of an eight than a six, and we need a number six. But he'd go in decent signing for me. If we got a number six and then he was the second midfielder, calm. That is Scalvani, the young player that's at uh, Atalanta, plays midfield, plays centre-back. I mean, based off his potential, you've got to put him in a decent sign. A good prospect, actually. He's 20 years of age. But, like, Ancelino's younger and a genuine prospect whereas he's played two full seasons of football so i put him in decent signing tap sober i put in decent signing and tossing i put in good prospects that's cheap option as he is available on a free um so can't go wrong with that i like edison of atalanta that we've been linked with to be honest and i'd put him in good option omar mamouche could be a good cheap option at striker it could be a decent backup to hoyland he's been linked to a couple of players going about he's having a very good season at frankfurt and i think it's only going to be 17 million pounds so it could be a good option of an experienced striker there although he probably won't get any service at united Kubo is a decent signing but i don't think he's the profile we need at right wing i think i think He's a little slow for the transition that we want to do. Eight Nuri, I don't think it's happening because Wolves want over £60 million. And Romano confirmed we've got £25 million for a left back, which puts it with Bard. I'm going to put Bard in great signing. Not that... No, he's a decent signing. It's not an amazing signing. But I think I think it's a good signing at left back, um, to be honest. Loco would be my first choice left back, but I like Bard. I like Kirkes. It's not a great signing. It really isn't. I'm just thinking... 20 million, he could be 15 million, he's an all right left back, but it, it'd be a decent signing. Uh, Bremer would be a decent signing, but I think there are better options out there. Delict, we could do better. Now, if Delict was like 30 million, it's a, it's a decent signing, but Delict, they want like 60 million, and I don't rate Delict as much as other players. Lenny Euro, if we pulled this off, would be a great signing. For me, Lenny Euro is like world class potential. I don't think we'll pull it off. Uh, Bramthway. If under 50 million is a great signing, if you can get Bramfweight for 50 million or less, great signing. 60 million, decent signing. If it's, if it's over 60 million, it's never going to happen. I'm going to put him a decent signing because of the price. I think if Bramfweight is 55 million or less, I think it's good. But I think I think he's going to be 60 million. Uh, but he's definitely a better signing than Bremer. So I'll move him to the front of that list. We now have Tolibo, which, look, I think Bramfweight could be a better player than Tolibo. But when Tolibo's nearly half the price, that's why Tolibo goes in great signing for me. Agate would be a great signing, but we ain't going to get him. Like, I don't think we're going to get him, so let's let's put him in Never Going to Happen. I just, 
no, it's never going to happen. As much as I want to put him a great signing, it's never going to happen. I think Weaver would be a great signing for Manchester United. Six or eight hybrid type profile is what we need. Kuhlman, I don't think he's as good as Weaver, but he's definitely a profile that we need. So I put him in good signing there. Uh, always been a big fan of Kuhlman. Fafana, again, £25 million. Kuhlman's going to be about £40 million. Fafana's going to be about £25 million. So the way I see it there is Fafana goes in great signing. When you look at how much he's going to cost, realistic, for me, he's a great signing. Archie Gray would be a very good prospect, but he's at Leeds, so he's not coming. So we're putting him in never going to happen. Gay, I like Gay, but it's about the price. I'm not angry if we sign Gay, um, but it, it it's about the price. And I think he's going to be overpriced. So I think I'm going to have to put him in. If Gay is 40 million, he's here. If he's, if he's less than, if he's, sorry, if he's 30 million less, he's here. But it's being quoted at 50 million. So I think you could do better for 50 million pounds. Amadou Anon, I'd put in decent signing. I think because of the price range, apparently he's like 20 million more than Wefa. Don't think he can be in the great signing category. He's very hit and miss. Like sometimes I watch Amadou Anon, I think this is exactly what we need to part the main with Bruno. And sometimes I watch him when he's shite. Uh, Bakioko, I mean, 35 million pounds, you could put it in great signing, but I'm going to put him in decent signing. Still think he'd be a really decent signing. Uh, continuing on, Noosa, good prospect and cheap option. Big fan of Noosa, but I think United need a winger that's ready now. We've got so many young players. Liao, Rafael Liao, never happening. Kavaritz Helia, Rafael Liao, Mbappe, Warden, Nabri, Coman, they're not happening. Ineos don't want older, expensive players. They want more prospects, younger players, domestic, proven players. Uh, Nico Williams would be a great signing. £43 million pound release clause. Cannot go wrong with that. Um, I'm a massive fan of Nico Williams as well. Brilliant player. Um, at least say great signing. I know he's got a bit of an injury record this season, but I think it's a one-off due to this season and a reoccurring hamstring injury. For me, Elise is a brilliant, amazing signing. Uh, Ivan Tony, I think, is a decent signing. For the depending on the price, it depends on the price. Uh, he's, he thinks he's too big for Bournemouth. I don't like the attitude, but if you're getting him for thirty, forty million pounds, there's a great player there. Even though he's been a bit iffy this season, Shawkarez is never happening. Let's be honest. I'd love him, but he's never happening. Xerxes, for me, goes straight up into the first category, which, category, which is great signing. When, uh, look, if Xerxes was £50 million, pounds, he goes in decent signing. But Xerxes, £34 million pound release clause. For me, Xerxes goes in great signing. £34 million pound release clause, people. Like, he's a baller. And that leaves us with a couple of people left. Sesco, um, his release clause was £43 million, which would have put him in great signing. But also, we don't give our striker any service. So he goes into decent signing because he's now £64 million. Pounds. But I think he's such a good player, but I just think he'd struggle at United because we wouldn't give him service. Hosselu, part of me wants to say could do better, but part of me says, you know, as a cheap option, as a backup striker, you can't do too, too well with too bad with Hosselu. And then Neto is a decent signing, but when he's been quoted at £80 million and crazy price tag, I think we could do better. I love Neto and I, I like Gay as well. I like Neto and Gay. I think they're both very good players. But when you're hearing the price tag, I think could we do better? Which brings me to Max Six signings. Now, the left back I would sign is Loco, but apparently he's going to Manchester City, just our luck, or, or Villa. They're looking at him. And I was trying to keep this realistic for players that we've been linked with. So the left back I'm going to pick, if available, actually would be Kirkes of Bournemouth. Premier League proven, 20 years of age. If available, I'd get him. Although I, I think realistically Bard would be cheaper and then that could maybe allow Harry Amas to come through. So I'm going to go with Bard, actually. I'm going to go with Bard because I'm thinking you've got to, you've got to be under 20 million. Uh, Harry Amas coming through. Luke Shaw still want to play next season. Left centre-back to look at me. £25 million. Pounds, uh, good backup. I think very good on the ball. Can play right centre-back as well. Can play alongside Martinez. Experience. Bosch. Right centre-back would be is between Todibo and Lenny Euro. I don't think we have... I think Lenny Euro will be more than Todibo. If we can get Lenny Euro, go for it. i pick Lenny Euro over Todibo if we could get him. I don't think we will. Uh, that brings us on to three. We've got three more left. Realistically, I'm going to go with Fafana of Monaco because value for money. We've got to have enough money for six signs. We've got to spread £25 million as a steal. We definitely need another midfielder on top of him. So we're going to have to sell, but I would go with him. Up top, Xerxes, £35 million. Pounds. We've not been linked to Cunha, and Cunha will be crazy expensive. £34 million pound release calls on Xerxes. I'd go all out for it. And then the last addition is right winger. Elise, Elise and Nico Williams, Premier League proven. Man United fan, not asking for 300 grand a week. Michael Elise. 
They are my six must-sign players of players we've been linked to. Todibo, Rufa, Nico Williams, I'd still be very happy if we signed. All of the players in decent signings, I wouldn't mind seeing in a United shirt. Uh, good prospect options, depends on the price if they're young. Uh, I'm not biggest fan of Turham or Kilman or Delict. I like Gay and I like Netta, but I could only see him at United for the right price. Let me know how you'd rank these players below. Thank you for watching.